Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over a new inventory unit. This is a 2023 Cimarron North Star three horse bumper pull, um, 610 wide, 71 tall, kind of your standard three horse setup. We did some cool options on this trailer that typically on our inventory trailers you're not going to see, but every now and then we'll do, we'll spruce one up a little bit and throw just a little couple extras on there for you guys. We'll start off on this trailer by going through the front tack room. This is just a swing out saddle rack on this extra wide 42 inch door. We like to do these swing outs with an extra large door. One, it makes it easier for your saddles to clear those doors if you're running oversized saddles. Um, the other reason we like it is because once you have saddles on here with this extra wide door, you still have the ability to walk by that saddle rack with your saddles swung out. You're not having to swing them in and out if you're coming in and out of this trailer. The swing out saddle rack set up for a three horse has three tiers. You can add more if you want. You can take them off if you want. You can adjust them however you see fit. It's super easy to do. It does run on a little gas shock. So once you start pushing it, it'll kind of pull itself in. And then once you start pulling it, it'll pull itself out of that trailer as well. It's really handy, especially once you get your big heavy saddles on there. It's really going to make moving those saddles around super easy on you guys. You don't have to worry about moving the brunt of that weight all by yourself. On our tack door, we do have a drainable brush tray in the bottom. It is a three compartment tray that it kind of contains stuff. It is drainable in each one of these three compartments. That way if you have a spray bottle or something like that, freezes, starts leaking, I'm just going to contain it to one of those three trays and let it drain out the bottom. That way the rest of your stuff isn't getting nasty. Something we like to do on all of our trailers, we put a fold up step on your tack room. We like to put them other places as well. Sometimes we'll throw them on an escape door if a customer's using that for like storage area, stuff like that. So we do have this fold up step, which makes it a lot easier to get into this trailer. It operates off that same gas shock that the saddle rack does. So you don't have to deal with those rubber grommets that wear out. Those gas shocks will hold that step up for you. You don't have to worry about latching and unlatching. It's very simple to use. Up in our front tack room, we have our spare tire mounted over on our driver's side, uh, I guess, tongue wall. You'll notice it is a black spoke uh, aluminum wheel. It will match the rest of the tires and wheels on this trailer. So that way you get a blowout, you get a flat, something like that. You can swap tires. You're not riding on a donut. You have matching wheel, matching tire. Your trailer's looking just as good as it did before your blowout when you show up to your show. On our partition wall, we do have a full set of bridle hooks up high, fully carpeted behind those bridle hooks. We like to carpet behind those bridle hooks because it'll deaden the noise for your horses. Those bridles are going to be bouncing off these walls while you're traveling, and this carpet will really help deaden that noise and make your horses travel a little better. It's also going to keep this trailer from getting scratched up from your bridles. It's going to keep your bridles from getting scratched up on the trailer. So we like to carpet anywhere we're going to have hanging stuff with these bridle hooks. In the back corner, tucked away kind of in this dead space behind the door, we do have a 25-gallon water tank. Again, being able to take water home with you guys from home that your horses are comfortable drinking, Maybe you're going on a long trip and you're not sure if you're going to be able to find a place to stop and get water for your horses, your dogs, yourself. You will have this option to take 25 gallons of water with you wherever you go. And that's kind of a standard feature we've been throwing on 95% of our trailers. It's really easy for us to include and it makes it a lot easier on you guys while you're traveling. Kind of hard to see in the video. Your front tack does have an OptiBright light situated kind of above the door here. So again, you can switch that light on. If you're early morning, late nights, so you need to get in your tack room, check some stuff out you can easily click that light on and do so. Coming down the side of this trailer, it's kind of hard to see because the doors and windows are all open, but this is a silver metallic trailer. I'll, sh I'll shut some doors on the other side and show you guys the color before we finish the videos, but it goes really nice. Again, here's another look at those black spoke aluminum wheels. Um, these are 5,200 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. So again, this trailer has plenty of axle underneath it to be able to do whatever you want with it. All our tires on our Cimarron's and our Logan coaches are both coming are both coming from the factory, um, nitrogen filled tires. So again, them being nitrogen filled, what that does for you guys is it really helps balance out that PSI. If you have some really cold, cold morning and late nights, it's not so common here in spring. Um, a few months ago, or if you're getting into late fall when you're in you know, your 30s and 40s in the morning, you're jumping up to 60s and 70s in the afternoon, you're not gonna have to worry about dumping air out of these tires or adding air in when the temperature changes. It's really gonna help balance that out and add to the life of these tires. Up high, kind of situated above your three tie outs on this side, you do have a 16 inch awning light. Again, you can click that switch. If it's dark out, you're gonna have enough light to be able to saddle, feed your horses, check on your horses if you're tying out. But just, again, enough light to be able to do whatever you need to do around this trailer. One of the things we did on this one, I talked about a little bit of upgrades that we typically don't do on a lot of our inventories. We did the drop down hip 
doors. Most of the time you are gonna have big sliding types if you get just an inventory simmer on, but every now and then, like I said, we'll spruce one up, add a couple extras, and these drop down tail walls are something we did on this. So you still get your little sliding type window, but then again, you get the option to fully drop those windows and really maximize that airflow for your horses. And you can drive with them fully down like this. They lock into place. You're able to travel down the road and really get your horses cooled off in hot summer days. Three horse, we do have three tie rings on each side of this trailer situated in between your drop doors. So again, you can still tie out and keep those doors down if you wanted. Moving around to our load side of this trailer. We do have rubber kick mat situated on our back doors as well as all the way up to our window side on your hip wall and about 54 inches on your head wall. So again, if your horse is kicking, you like a horse that paws, um, they're gonna be hitting this rubber mat, they're not going right to the trailer and it's a lot easier to replace this rubber mat than it would be to replace like an aluminum sheet on this trailer. The floor on this Cimarron, again, it is the strongest floor you can get in a horse trailer market. This floor is built on four inch centers, so no matter where your horse is standing on this trailer, they are gonna be standing directly over a cross member. Most manufacturers do them on 12 inch centers, some even on 16. So by having a four inch center trailer, you can be confident your horses are standing on the strongest floor possible. The cool thing they do about doing these floors is it's kind of a plank floor every four inches. They go ahead and they flip that trailer upside down when they're building this floor. So all the welds, all your seams are underneath this trailer so you never see it. And then they flip it back over and continue building. So again, just one of the little things Cimarron does that makes them a top tier brand is they try to hide all their welds, make the trailer look really clean for you guys. They try to go above and beyond as far as structure as well. So you're getting the strongest floor, you're getting 12 inch center in your side walls. They use almost a two times, as two times as thick side posts as most manufacturers out there in their side walls as well. So you're getting a really, really powerful uh, structure in your walls, your floor, just all the way around in this trailer. Your rear divider, it is just a partial full solid divider. So it's not an airflow type with bars, which we can do if you guys wanted. Cool thing Cimarron does is they make this trailer one inch standard than a typical three horse pumper pull. And the reason they do that is so this rear divider will clear those back doors and you're able to shut it over out of the way if you want to use this full space. Your front divider in this trailer, full stud divider again. We like to throw full stud dividers on anything above a two horse. We can throw them on a two horse if you want. The reason we like to do them once we get to a three horse is because you do get that escape door. And having a stud door is important. Again, if you're trying to hide a horse that likes to kick, paw, and maybe fight with some other horses, a stud wall serves for a great purpose for that. The reason I like it on these three horses is because you do get an escape door, so you can utilize this as a storage area. You can shut that full wall over. You can stack hay in here, grain in here, totes in here, access it from that escape door. You never have to offload your horses. It just makes it really versatile in this front stall. So in each of your three stalls as well, you are gonna have D-rings situated to easily install some hay bags. Um, the hay bags we can get from Cimarron, they're a canvas material, they don't break. Um, they're not your typical like hang from the D-ring. Hay bags are kind of a deep tray, more like a manger type, but made out of canvas that will go in one of these three stalls if you wanted to do that. You will have two tie rings situated up high in each one of your two stalls. So again, you can tie a horse kind of wherever you want. You can also hang one of those net type hay bags from your other one if you're wanting to. You can hang water buckets if you need to. So that's why we give you two. It gives you the ability to tie your horse off to one, hang some stuff from another one if you guys need to. Cool thing Cimarron does, again, they build a super strong trailer, but aside from having the strongest trailer on the market, they go ahead and they fully insulate their stall area for you guys. So no matter what Cimarron you get, you are getting a fully insulated roof straight from the factory. And if you get one of their North Star models or their horse trailer model trailers, their stall area is coming fully lined and insulated in your walls as well. A lot of manufacturers, you're gonna have to request that. You're gonna have to pay extra for that. With Cimarron, they just give it to you guys right off the bat because they wanna give you guys a top of the line product that they know you're gonna love. Talking about a roof, each one of your three stalls is gonna be situated with a two-way roof vent. The way these work is they run kind of on a little bottom swivel. You can situate them to either pull fresh air into this trailer or circulate that air out of the trailer. So again, hot mornings, you can open them up and really get the air moving through this trailer. Or if you're trying to get some stagnant air moving out, you can open those the other way and get that air pulled out. We do have a full length butt strap here for your rear of your trailer as well. We go to the full length butt strap if we're not doing a folding rear tack or a little corner tack back here, just because a big bar going across here is kind of a safety hazard because it won't drop all the way out of the way. That's why we opt for this butt strap.
Coming around to our head side, again, it's gonna look really similar to that hip side we just went over with the exception of you do have jail bars in your drop downs and this escape door. Cool thing I like about these jail bars, if you need, to, again, you're running hay bags, feed bags, you need to check on your horse while you're traveling. You can just easily drop these jail bars. You can get up on your 610 running board, check on your horses, feed your horses, do whatever you need to do. And it operates super simple. It's super easy to use. The other cool thing I like about it is with them having the little sliding types in there, you can still close your window up, have your little sliding type open, still get some air moving through those trailers, not a whole bunch of air. So again, if it's super cold or maybe you're feeding your horses and you don't want that air whipping that feed around in there, you can close these up, still get that air moving, but again, kind of minimize um, that hay whipping around or if it's super cold, that cold air really moving through the trailer. You'll have another 16 inch LED awning light positioned above this tie outside. Again, tying out early morning, late nights. You need to check on your horses, feed your horses. You will have enough light out here to do so. Over here, this is your escape door. It'll give you a good view of just how easily you can use this. Um, store hay in there, grain in there. You can easily access it through this door. You don't have to offload horses if you don't want. You can step right in, grab hay, feed your horses while they're still on. Do whatever you need to do if you're only hauling two horses. It makes this really cool, really versatile. The thing I also like that Cimarron does is on your escape door, you are getting a drop window that operates the same as well. So you are getting the drop window and then you are getting those droppable jail bars as well. Granted, it is a little bit smaller window because it has to fit within that door framing, but you are getting the option that if you are hauling a horse in this first stall, you can really maximize that airflow for that front horse as well. But I told you guys, it is a silver metallic trailer. It's a little easier to see now that we got this trailer shut up. So it's a really flashy color, especially with those black spoke wheels. It's a really cool looking trailer. And we can do a lot of cool colors with Cimarron. I've done some blue trailers. I have a red trailer coming. So if you think of a color that, man, that would really match my truck or look really good, um, we can do some really cool color combos with the trailer. If you want to put some warm floor in there to match your trailer combos, we can do a lot of that stuff as well. So if you have an idea, feel free to run it by us. Up here, we do have your three foot tongue. It's a great setup for if you're hauling an RV and you want to pull a trailer. We've built many of these for RVers. We've built all the way up to a five horse pull behind an RV. So we can do some really cool stuff if you are an RVer. But you are getting your three foot tongue, two and five sixteenths coupler, your breakaway cable, safety chains, and of course your seven pin. Um, cool thing we do is if you want to put an adjustable coupler on here so that way you're not having to drop your truck ball all the way down and you want to drop your coupler instead, we can opt to put one of those on here as well. It is just equipped with your standard Bulldog manual jack. We can easily go in and throw an electric jack on here. We can put a hydraulic jack on. We can do a lot of stuff through our shop after the fact. It's kind of why we order some of them standard because if a customer comes in here and wants something different, we can easily swap it here versus the other way around. If we pay for a hydraulic jack up front and someone wants a standard, then we're kind of out of luck replacing it. If you're interested in this trailer, again, the stock number is 5N230176. It's a 2023 Cimarron North Star three horse bumper pull. 610 wide, 71 tall. It's a really cool little setup trailer. If you're watching these videos pretty consistently, um, we really appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned over the next couple weeks because we're going to be getting some 2024 models in, both in the Cimarron and the Logan coaches. You'll get to see some cool new features that are coming out with those. If you're interested in these trailers, maybe some other trailers we have sitting here, we do have a hail sale going on on our Logans right now. Or if you want to talk about the 2024 models coming in, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.